Hey guys, it's Brittany. So I am just here today to tell you about um, my CL experience at the Hello Her Hello Bitches concert. Um, so yeah, I went on November 8th with my best friend Corey. Um, he's not really a huge K-pop fan, but he was there however long ago when I discovered 21 and CL, he really likes CL too. He's the old, um, 21 and Big Bang were the only groups that we really listened to, or that <coughs> both of us listened to together. And so, as the years went on, like I think five or six years, I think it was like five or six years ago, and then I told him that she was coming and he was just all about it. So I was really excited that I actually got to go to a concert, not alone, because it was the first time that I haven't got to a concert, or a K-pop concert. Um, and I wasn't alone, so that was nice. And I also got to meet my first YouTube friend, her name is Shirley, um, and I will put her um, link in my com or my description box below. She's a YouTube reactor and vlogger, whatever you wanna call us, um, for K-pop as well, and she's become really precious to me. Um, so if you could go to uh, subscribe to her channel as well, that would be great. Um, she's great, so yeah. So she wound up going to the concert as well, and it was just, I was nervous to meet her, you know, but um, it wound up being a great experience, and I'm so glad that I got to have the opportunity to meet a friend through YouTube and through K-pop, because that's really why I started this channel. So yeah. Anyway, so on to the concert. So we get there, we, st we stood in line forever, you guys. Like, I got there probably around 7.30, <coughs> and we stood in line for more than an hour just to get in. So annoying. So I had standing tickets, I was in the pit, and I was just so close. Like there was the VIP section in front, there was a fit, like a little fence, and then it was us. So I was so close for y'all, it was great. Um, <coughs> so before everything started, you know, got drinks, you know, got our little light sticks, um, went down to the, um, the floor and there were 21 music videos playing which was kind of emotional because I'm still kind of upset about home, you know, Menzi leaving so that was really emotional. I think for everybody there that's a blackjack. And so, but it was fun to dance to the music videos and see them. It just really, really missed them. And then <coughs> eventually we played um, an intro for CL that showed her from, you know, being a young child to now, and it was just her, you know, playing the violin and all this stuff, and it was also very emotional to see how far she's come in just 25 years as a performer. And then after that, she came out on stage, and everyone was just crazy and hype and just screaming. I've never seen so many fanboys ever, ever. There's so many, and these were cute too. Mm -hmm. CL has cute fans. Um, so yeah, she says she came out, and I will show footage just straight footage after I did talk about it just a little bit. So she came out, started with fire, and it was, oh my god, I was just, mm, 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 mm. it was just great, you guys. <laughs> um, overall, she performed, I think, 17 songs, I think 17. But she had a, she performed a lot of 21 songs, because <coughs> she's, you know, she's not gonna have her own solo album out yet, so it's like, what the hell are you gonna sing? So she performed a lot of 21 songs, um, and then she went into her solo, and we got to see the Hello Bitches actual music video, not just the performance version, so that was cool. So she's just very, she was just very cool, very chic, you know, she's a very bad girl, very CL, and I loved it. You know, she was twerking, she was working it, she had a couple outfit changes. So overall, she, I mean, her, her, her performance herself was great, you know. I don't have any complaints about that. She sat, she sang great, she rapped great, dancing was fine. It's typical CL, you know. <laughs> um, wasn't anything like super flashy or anything, but it was good. Um, I will say that the stage itself was very bare. I think there was like a stro couple strobe lights and like there were some, um, a band in the background. She had, I think maybe five, or six backup dancers and they were fun they were getting it so but you know their outfits weren't very flashy it was a very small set I just feel like you know she deserved a little bit more than just a few strobe lights and 
the old music videos to be playing in the background. Like that's just per that is personally me because it's CL. This is you know my queen. Just my first first female bias ever in K-pop. Like she's done so much for K-pop overseas and getting people into K-pop that I feel like you know even though it is just a small tour, like I'm telling you these strobe lights looked like little carny strobe lights. <coughs> and so I felt like she deserved definitely more than that. So it's nothing about her personally. It was, you know, she performed fine, her backup stagers, backup stage um, dancers, backup dancers, let's see y'all, backup dancers are great, <coughs> they all seem to like be really like a family, you know, and so they were fine, it's just that I feel like she deserved a little bit more flashiness to match her persona on stage, you know, it was too bare for me personally, but I loved her outfits and wardrobe. So yeah, so <coughs> overall I had a great time, you know, in Atlanta, shows are really fun. If you ever have a chance to go, just go and try to get into, if you don't mind standing all night, I really recommend going to a pit or something because like the energy there is just, it's so much better I think than sitting. Um, just because, I don't know, like in the pit you're closer and you feel and you feel the artists and you feel the people next to you and like when I was there I could just feel everyone around me just really getting it, really having fun and like the fanboys and fangirls, like they were no joke, <laughs> like they were having fun. <clears throat> so overall, like I really enjoyed my experience. I'm glad that she's you know doing this and she's really trying to break through the, to the American art market. I think that she is probably the only artist right now in K-pop capable of doing it. Um, I think there's a bunch that have potential for sure, but I think currently she's the only one that I think could come over and be a success. Anyway, so yeah, so that is my experience for my CL concert. Um, I will go ahead and stop talking and just show you some of the footage uh, I took on my phone. And so I hope you guys enjoy this and thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's Brittany, and this is my best friend, Corey. Hi guys. And what are we here to do today? We're here to go see CL. Yes. <laughs> and Corey wanted everyone to know that he voted. Yeah, because if you don't let everyone know, it doesn't count. Yeah, for Trump. No, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we'll keep you updated. 